Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back fishing planet, and we are out here in the middle of nowhere in our little ocean, <laughs> basically trying to find a place that's deep, really deep, but not so deep that we can't cast our rods out here, and based on all the new sonar that we have here, we definitely have some fish down deep as well, and that's what we're after, guys. Let me go ahead and sit set anchor because I don't want this to move any more than it already is actually they seem to be all right for now but yeah this is what we're trying to go after here guys we're trying to go after the ruby snapper we've not caught a trophy or a unique of this version and they love to be deep as a matter of fact it says that they don't go any closer to the surface than 33 feet they're mostly found between about 300 and 1300 feet they're not huge but they're not exactly easy to find that's one thing I have run into with these guys we are going to go ahead and get here in the middle And we need to set up our gear. We can't use trolling gear for this. these guys. We're going to have to use... Well, we can. But not off the surface. <laughs> Let's see. What is their favorite thing to eat? I'm trying to remember that, actually. I thought it was... Large fish strips. Yes, I believe that is what I was catching them off of. They went up for that, and they go after pilkers. So, like I said, they're not monster, monster fish. So I'm going to go ahead and put some large fish strips on this one and on this one. That hook's a little on the large size, even though it's a trophy hook. I'd probably say a six aught or you know between a four aught and a six aught for these guys. Let's go with the six aught. Just let's just see if that does all right. This one obviously needs to go smaller. Let's go with the five aught. We'll see how well those do. I think the sinkers are perfectly fine as they are. But th these two rods should do the trick. We have to throw them out there as far as we can. Let them sink. They got to go all the way to the bottom. Okay, we are at 618 feet, so I'm going to go ahead and pull it just off the bottom. Just like that, and we'll set it in place. And we'll get the other one going here. Yeah, I've got a pretty decent sized sinker on there, so it should take it down. But yeah, it's going to take a minute for me to get these set up. But it looks like I already got a bite. Let me see here. I wonder what we got. Well, I don't... Nah, I don't think we got one of those guys. This is... Whatever this is, it's quite a bit bigger. Yep. 
Yep. I don't know what it is, but it is it is not a ruby snapper. Probably a tuna. Or well, it could be a grouper too. I wasn't expecting to get something quite so big down there. Kind of the reason I came out this far. But the tuna can go deep, some of them. I think the big eyes can. It's one of the reasons they have big eyes, because they can see low light levels. Let's see here. That's another thing, too, is it takes a while to get them up. <laughs> you have to let out so much line. Kind of thinking that if it is... I don't know, I'm starting to think it might be a grouper. The only reason I'm thinking that is because even though he's pretty pretty tough, he's not fighting it super hard like a tuna would. It's definitely not a marlin. Well, we'd be all over the place. But yeah, uh, even at the maximum size these guys get, they wouldn't put this much pressure on this. Ooh, and we're getting a bite on the other one too. Hope I can get this up before I lose that one. timed out. And something else going on. Kind of curious to see what this one is. Yes. It is a marlin. <laughs> Well, that's crazy. I would not have thought it was a marlin at all. Okay, let's see if we can't pick this one up before it gets off there. Okay, this actually could... Well, I don't see how it could be. It's just not deep enough. Nope, albacore. I was going to say, there's no way it was not deep enough for it to be what we were after I was I just set it down so it never got very deep now this has got quite the sinker on it so it should get down there where we need it to be well Looks like we're getting a bite off this one. Let's see if this is what we're after. Ah, shoot. It's another big one. Yeah, it could turn out that this is just a... good spot for Marlin, for all we know. Well, Marlin hunt... Primarily by vision. 
And we got a bite on that one now. Let's put this one down and see if this might look like what we're after here. Oh, this is big too. God bless it. <laughs> yep, they're both big. Yeah, I'm thinking we're going to have to come at night. I think we're just dealing with some big fish down there right at the moment. This isn't quite as big as the other one, but... It's still a big fish. It's holding its own. Yep, we lost the other one. We'll see what this one is, but I don't think it's super huge. Well, it's another marlin. Yep, this is definitely a marlin location, apparently. Of course, why wouldn't it be? And I'm pretty sure I lost my bait here. Yes, we did lose our bait, so that would have been a waste of time. Alright, let's see what we can do about fixing that. Let's go with the medium strips. For both of them. And let's go with a smaller hook, too. Oh. I'm a little, well, we'll try two watt. Let's just try it. Doesn't work, doesn't work, but and then we'll forward time to the night time. We'll see if we can't hook ourselves a ruby snapper. I believe they're down there, honestly. I really do. Wait a minute. I wonder if you just throw it out there, if it'll go down there automatically. I'm going to check that. Because I notice it keeps going. If it doesn't, then I will do it the way I've been doing it. Yeah, let me take a look and see if there's anything down there. Looks kind of dead, actually. I'm seeing some at the surface. 
catching quite a few at the surface. Some big fish, too. Hmm. And yeah, we may have to relocate somewhere else. It's not showing anything deep on the sonar. Let's see how far that one went down. Yeah, it did stop. Let's see if we can fast travel again. We may be able to. Obviously, this is not where I was supposed to go. So that originally went there, and it was too shallow. Maybe this is where I really had been before. Now let's take a look and see how deep the water is. It is... It is deep enough here. So this must be it. We got some fish jumping out there. Yeah, this is where I'd gotten them before. Aha! Look. We've got some deep fish down there. I think we found them. Let's go where there's a lot of them, if we can. Yep, there's a higher concentration of them over here. Yep, that sounds about right. It was around 328 feet. It wasn't 600. And I can see him down there. Let's go ahead and throw our lines out and see if we can't do something about this. This won't take nearly as long to get it out there. I really hope this works, because I really want to be able to get a trophy and a unique one of these. I kind of want to see how much money they bring. Since they're tougher to catch, they might be worth more XP. Alright guys, we got it set up. I did start to hear a nibble, and I think we got something on this first one. Now let's see how big it is. Uh, shoot, I think it's... No, it may not be. This might be it. This might be it, guys. I'm hoping. First, it was pulling a little bit hard. and uh, Then it started letting up a little bit. Ah, shoot. It's a big eye tuna. Oh, lordy. 
Not what we're after. Not in the least. Man, we gotta throw it back out there and... Wait for it to get all the way down there again. Yeah, these guys are tough to catch. They really are. They're so deep. Unfortunately, so are the big guys. I'm getting another bite, but I'm... It's not really... Fully connected yet. Needs to do better than that. But wait a minute. I think I might have a... Okay. <laughs> he was on here. I was thinking it was on the other one. I was like, what? Yep, I think we got another big eye. God bless it. This is going to be tough to get. This is where they are. That much I do know. Might have to take a look at the baits and see if there's something that will single them out a little bit better. Because it's obvious the big guys go for the medium fish strips and even go on the smaller hooks. But yeah, this is not a ruby snapper. It would not be putting up that much resistance. It just would not. Even if it were 77 pounds. Yep. Another big uh, 109 pounder. We almost filled up the boat, guys. We are almost completely full. That's why I was hoping I'd get the smaller ones. Let me take a look here. Maybe there is something that these guys will go after that none of the others will. Large fish strips, medium fish strips, crab. Japanese jack mackerel, scaled sardines. See, they all go for that. But the crab. The crab might be it. We might try the crab. Wait a minute. Let's take a look at the big guy and see what they go for it. They do not. They go for everything the other one does, but they do not go for crab. At least, they don't prefer it. And it specifically says Ruby Snapper on there. Let's try the crab. Yeah, this might be what we need to single them out. Well, we'll give it a try, guys. If something bites, I'll bring you back. All right, we're finally getting a bite. That's a good sign. This is a good sign, guys. It seems a little bit big, though. But it is coming.
Only thing I could hope is that maybe it's maximum size. Yeah, it's definitely coming. And I got one on the other one, I think, too, here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The albacore go for it? Ah, oh, shoot. Can't catch a break here. Alright, guys, I am back, and I have decided to try a new location. And I'm hoping that this one does a little bit better. Now, I did go a little bit further west and found some more fish on the bottom. Depth is at about uh, 340 feet. Yeah, but I was getting albacore off of those and big eyes. And I just decided that, you know... <laughs> Wasted enough time over there, but we've got something here. I can't tell how big it is, but I'm not really sure if we've got what we're after here. It is coming in a little easier, but the albacore was doing about the same, honestly. But we've almost got him in. And it is a ruby snapper. Finally. We finally found them. These guys aren't easy to find. They just are not. He's 31 pounds. He's not a personal best, but that is pretty good cash. And the XP's not bad for a fish that size. Let's take a look at him. Yeah, I like these because they're just so colorful. I mean, they're such a bright red. But it seems like the trick getting these is you really have to put the bait right just off the bottom I mean literally let it go to the bottom and then just pick it just off the bottom and that was what got him I mean we'll we'll test that theory here in just a second but that's what I did to get this one and I caught him right about over there All right, it does still take a while for the line to get down there, and you got to be patient. Yeah, we got it down there about to 360. That seems to be right where it needs to be. And see, this one is a little bit too high. I had set it down there, and nothing was biting. So I'm going to lower it and keep an eye on that little marker on the right. And when it hits bottom, it will eventually. See how it goes straight like that? And keep lowering it little bits at a time. This is not fast, guys. you got to really take your time. And see it hit bottom. All right. Now we reel it up just a little bit. Until it gets upright. And set it down. These guys are right off the bottom. I'm just going to make sure that this is, again, just off the bottom. Now, these are a little bit different depths. So obviously, I must have thrown them out in different portions of the, bot the uh, ocean bed. And there you go. And now it's just a matter of waiting. All right, we got another one here. They're definitely biting, that's for sure. Now, I can't promise you this is going to be another ruby snapper, but usually once you get one, you'll start getting more than one. And it looks like I might be getting a bite on the other one, too, there. Now, he'll probably time out or get off the line, one or the other. Anyway, we almost has got, have this guy in. I'm pretty sure he might be another one, guys. 
Like I said, once you get one, usually there are more to follow. And there he is. Not as big as the last one. Just about, I think it was 21 pounds. Yeah, a little bit over 21 pounds. But still, we got another one. 6333 cash. But here is the spot, guys. Right here, about negative 704, 3200 approximately. Let me take a look at this again. It's kind of hard. You see, it moves around a lot. I'll show you an expanded version. Yeah, there's that little bitty hole right there. Just off to the right, I'm kind of right before it, over on the... Like, kind of like where there's a little nick in it or whatever. And we'll go ahead and put this one back out. And again, do what I did before. Make certain it goes all the way to the bottom. Oh, and by the way, I did go back to the medium fish strips. They just seem to do better, honestly. Alright, we were getting another nibble. He's still kind of tapping at it here and there, but I think he's on there now. If something's been tapping on both of them, so I could end up getting two of them going after it. In fact, I think I do. Yeah, that's the only thing. It's like when it rains, it pours, and you end up missing one of them. But so far, they seem to be about roughly the same size, so we're getting a lot of comments here. Yep, he timed out. We lost it, but. We still got this one. Of course, no Narlock, that was a unique one. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this is any bigger than the last two. 31 pounds is so far the best. Eh. No, he's a little bit smaller yet, I think. Was he 18 pounds? Yep, 18 pounds. Not very big, but still, we just got to keep at it. There's got to be big ones down there. I'm going to throw it right back out where I threw it last time. Real close to that little marker there. Yeah, I went ahead and marked the last fish. I usually do that, and then if I catch something bigger, I remove the the previous marker because I want to mark the big ones. But let's get this out here again just like we did before and you got to do that each time and if it does the fish does uh, wait a minute we're, we're getting another bite I think. Let's make sure he takes it. Yeah, yeah he's got it. Okay, this is a little bit bigger. Yep, definitely a little bit bigger than the others have been so far. But don't get all excited just yet. This may just be another albacore or big-eyed tuna. Yeah, when I caught these before at some of the other spots, I was getting a lot of tuna in between. There, I was getting a lot of albacore and uh, dog tooth. So, hopefully, this is a ruby snapper that's just a little bit bigger. Be nice. He's got a little bit of pull to him. All right, we almost have him. Yeah, it is a ruby snapper, and I think he is bigger. Yes, it's a trophy, guys. We've got our first trophy.
new personal record, 38.596 pounds, 12,332 cash. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Boy, he is pretty, isn't he? 2351 XP, I think is what it was. Now that's a nice looking fish. Very pretty fish. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get a picture of him. Alright. We got our picture for posterior. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, if we keep at it, we'll get a unique here. But, unfortunately... Oh, nice. Challenge complete. Kaji no Ri scientist. Catch all fish species of trophy form in Kaji no Ri. Two bay coins. Well, that's cool. Yep, I guess all that's left are uniques. And we will cast that back out where we got that one. But yeah, we're about to run out of time here, guys. Already more than 30... Well... I've clipped it down a little bit, so I'm saying it's probably at least 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes by now. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to come back and keep at this. Hopefully, we'll get a unique in the next episode. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.